Hey, Juan Santos here. Um, <clears throat> I want to talk a little bit about using code words in your relationship. Um, let me take a little co <laughs> coffee break and then we'll get started. Okay, so a code word, what does that really mean? Um, if you think about, you know, those, uh, I guess, like CIA movies, you know, secret agents, it's always some kind of code they're using. You know, they may be whispering like, psh, 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 hey, listen to this, and we know what that means. So my wife and I, we have a code word, and it's our daughter's name. Our code word is significant to us. You know, it, mean, it means a lot to us, and, and we right away we know exactly what we're supposed to do. The whole point of a code word is to kind of, bam, stop whatever is going on. You know, pump your brakes, literally just halt at that point. And the reason we want to have a code word is ridiculously simple. You know, when we're in relationships, we're going to argue, we're going to fight, we're going to bicker. Uh, we may argue with politics. You, you may disagree with what coffee brand you like or, or what, what suit you like. It, it doesn't matter. The, the whole point is that in any relationship, we're going to get to points where we're going to argue. We're not going to see the eye to eye, and that's okay. Um, <clears throat> one of the reasons we want to use the code word is for that purpose, you know, acknowledging that I love you, <laughs> but we may not see eye to eye. And if we use the code word, we're going to decrease, psh, decrease any conflict argument that uh, that's probably taking place. So look at your relationship and analyze it and think about how is communication? Am I arguing just a little bit too much? Am I disrespecting my partner? Am I, am I treating them in an unfair manner? And if you have kids, think if you're arguing in front of the kids. If someone else is around you, do you both engage in argument, conflict in front of that person? Are you having late night bedside arguments, conflict, you know, just negative tension? And if you are, you know, it's okay, but not okay. <laughs> so let's work on that. You know, let's figure out what code word you can utilize. So think about, for, think about that for a little bit. Think about a code word that you and your partner can really hone into. Again, for, for myself and my wife, we use our daughter's name. So we use NOLA. And that means that if I am eating a PB&J sandwich and I hate the, the, the jelly or the peanut butter, and let's say I just go at it and start barking and arguing with her, she can turn around and she can say NOLA. And that means that I have to respect that. I have to back down, pump my brakes, and acknowledge that, okay, Juan, you just got out of character. You know, you're emotionally, you escalated, you know, you're, you're treating uh, your, your spouse with disrespect, and that's not what we want in a relationship. And again, the whole point is so that whenever you use the code word, you can pump your brakes and go back to managing your emotion. And that break in between, once the code word's used, that break in between is going to allow you to realize, should I be arguing? You know, should I be acting this way? What's the, what's the point of my argument? Is this validated? Is it helping or hurting the relationship? Later on, maybe five minutes, 30 minutes, an hour, or even a day, um, when you and your partner are calm, you're chilled, and, and you're okay to re-engage in the conversation, touch bases again. Say, listen, um, can we talk about that issue? I'm calm, and, and, and I'm ready to re-engage at it. Hopefully, with that break and the utilization of the code word, you may find that issue that you were about to engage in minimal. You, you know, it was it wasn't important. But <clears throat> if it still is important, then that break in between should allow you to hone in and figure out what it is that you want to talk about in, in a much healthier way. So if you continue to use the code word over and over and over, what's going to happen is you're going to build healthy boundaries. You're going to respect each other. And all that argument that, that that happens, you know, argument, it's a part of the relationship. Conflict is a part of the relationship. All of that is going to go under control. It's going to get honed in, and it's going to be less of it. You're going to be on the same page. You're going to be able to respect each other. And then communication is going to be something that's going to improve over time. So, again, this is Juan Santos from Santos Counseling, and we talked about uh, using a code word to help uh, to help your relationship. All right, take care.